Today we're going to be tackling a very common task, which is how to import spreadsheets or CSV files into Notion. We'll also be tackling how to export CSV files as well. Uh, it's quite easy once you get the hang of it, so let's jump on the computer and get started. I want to import this sample client data into my Notion database. As you can see, um, we've got these columns, which I'll just put in bold so you can see them. Now, this was originally a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, which I've now saved as a CSV file. And that's the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a CSV file. Same if you have a Google Sheets, just save it as a CSV. And this particular data, we've got the client name, there's the date that they started with us, a monthly fee, so this is a currency column, and then what services we're providing, a contact name and phone number. So let's see how Notion import deals with this data. I'm now over in Notion, and all you have to do is come down on the left-hand navigation and choose import, click on that, and then we have various options in here, and we want to choose the CSV option. Then we navigate to our data and click on open. And then it normally imports it fairly quickly. That's done it quite quickly. And we've now got a completely new database here, which is at the top. And there's all our imported data. Now you can do all the normal things now. So you can add an icon if you wished and change that if you want to. Um, but one thing that I like to do is check how all of the data has been imported. So the default for each of these columns or properties is for text. So let's just sit, check on our dates. And if you just click on edit property, um, we can see this data type, the type for this property has been put as date. So it's actually changed that to date. So it's recognized that. And then we've got some options here. You can keep it as the full date or you can change it to any of these other options if you like a shorter date. I quite like to keep it as the long date. Now we have the monthly fee. And you can see, let's just click on this, edit property, and it is recognized it as a number and as the currency. You'll see that it's also put the two decimals in here, which is which Notion does with all currencies. Now we come along to the service provided. Let's have a quick look at the property here. Now this has been saved as the default as text. Now you might want to change this. So I'm going to actually change that to multi-select. And then if I'm adding any additional clients by hand, then I can just choose from a list. These have all been added as uh, individual options now. The one thing that I'd maybe do is come along and add some colors in here, just so that it's easy to identify each of them. So maybe let's say social media management, and white one as green. So you could go through those and add colors if you wish. Uh, the contact name, the uh, property of that is text, which is fine, and phone. That's also text. You might want to change that to phone here. Not a huge difference. Um, and then notes will be text as, as well. So that's imported our information quite successfully. What if you want to import data into an existing database rather than create a new one? Well, the method is slightly different. Just come over to these three dots at the top right hand side and then choose merge with CSV. And then again, you can choose a, a CSV file to import. I've got a couple of extra clients that I want to import into this existing database. And you can see that they've been added here at the bottom. I'll just remove this additional line. Now all of this data has been successfully imported, all apart from this blank box here for the service provided. And the reason for that is that we chose to have a multi-select here 
However, the data on the CSV import file was Google Ads Management, which doesn't match up with one of the options in the multi-select. So it's actually just left it blank. So that's worth knowing that it won't actually create a new option. It's worth mentioning that you can sometimes get a file import error when you're trying to import a CSV file into an existing database. There are two common reasons for this. The first is a column mismatch. Now in your file that you're importing, at least one of the columns needs to match the name of the columns in the existing database that you have. The second reason is a file type error. Now you have to ensure that you're importing a CSV file, which is comma separated values. So now let's have a look at how to export data from Notion to a CSV file. To do this, just come over to the three dots again on the, at the top right, and then we're going to choose export. And then actually here, while we're here, we're going to choose Markdown and CSV, but just so you know the other options available, you can export as a PDF or HTML file. So we're going to stick to CSV. Now we've got the choice of current view or a default view. We're going to stick to the current view here, which is this data. And then you can choose to download everything or not have any attached files or images. Now you have the option to turn on sub pages and that is every, every entry in this database is its own page. So if you want to include all the data on those pages, you would click this on. And then all you have to do is choose export. I can then locate my downloaded file, which will be in a zipped format and then open it. And then you can see we've got all of our data that we had in our Notion database. I hope you found this video useful on how to import your data into Notion using CSV files. Now once your data is actually there, then you can really start to use the power of Notion databases. For example, things like timelines and Kanban boards. Now if you'd like to find out more about this, I've got these two videos which will go into these subjects in much more detail.